Hello tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Provail Tech's channel. Today we're diving deeper into Dead ORMM and uncovering the magic behind its global settings. Dead ORMM is known for its flexibility and customizability, and a big part of that flexibility comes from the ability to define global configurations. Let's explore what this means for you. Global settings is like the control room of your data RMM experience. From here, you can define access control, agent settings, user-defined fields, and more. Global settings is where you set the tone for these items. Starting with access control. In a dynamic IT environment, it's essential to only allow access to users and devices you trust in the access control settings here. This is exactly where you configure these options. At the very top, you'll see an option to enable API access. What this will go ahead and do is generate them on a user by user basis. So you have separate API keys so you can see what the API is doing for what user. Next, you'll see the new device approval. Again, what it says on the tin here, this will be allowing you to connect new devices to your account and they will require administrator approval before they are able to pop up in the account. And the next three are all related to IP addresses there, mostly what you would consider for access control. Here we have the option to set an IP address restriction. This will be for the um, you know, agents uh, you receive with the agent IP there. Um, that will be the agents logging into the data system. That'll give you the restriction for them. And then the one, the one above there will be for the outside of the agent settings there. And then below, you'll see the restricted IP list if you wanted to add anything onto that list to not allow it. Scrolling down here, we will go further and see the custom agent settings. This will be the settings where you're able to kind of configure any of the options that you need in terms of network settings for the agent. So if you go into here, you will be able to change the address, the port, web service address, tunnel service, network scan, and more. These will all allow you to configure them if you have custom network needs for your agent. If not, you can leave it as the default. Further here, we see also the option for email settings. This will just be the default that the RMM will use for when you either have a from or reply to email um, and the notifications will come from here. Same thing with here. You have the option to set up email recipients. So you see here, uh, we set up our test user with the test email address. And then you have a couple options here. Um, if you'd rather get HTML or text, depending on your email, and then what emails you'd like to receive, alerts, com store, new devices, and reports. And again, you want to add a new user, go ahead and type it there. All of these settings, if you modify anything, will have a checkbox or a save button with them. And scrolling down further here, you can see the variables. So these are global variables that you are allowed to configure within the data RMM. These will be passed to the jobs, but overwritten by the site variables. So if you have a site variable of the same name uh, and a global variable, it will default to using the site. So it takes a uh, localized approach rather than the global approach for those. So just be aware of that if you have any conflicting variables. Further down here, we also see the option to import the site variables. So this will be a CSV file. So if you go ahead and click on the download template here, this will download a CSV file. You can open up that in your application of choice and it'll show you all the various fields for the site variables. You can then copy these and edit them for if you have multiple sites and then you can import them here real easily. This will allow you to edit bulk if needed. And then finally in here, we have the user defined fields. In data RMM, you are allowed a total of 30 of these. And you can see here, these are where these are all defined. So you can see we started to fill in a couple here, um, just for our testing purposes. Uh, so we have a couple in here. And then if you wanted to edit or change them, just go ahead and uh, type in here and you can see exactly that you're able to change those as needed. And again, anytime you go to uh, change anything, just make sure you go ahead and click save and then those settings will go ahead and update for you. But that is all. Uh, these are just a few highlights of the Data RMM's global settings. You know, it's packed with features designed to make your RMM experience as tailored and efficient as possible. A pro tip, however, uh, periodically review these settings as your organization grows or changes, making sure they align with your evolving needs. This will help ensure a smooth and optimized RMM experience. But that concludes our overview of the global settings in Data RMM. For more insights, tips, and tricks on Data RMM and other tech topics, make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, drop them in the comments below. Until next time.